You know, there's a, a very cyclical cycle of art where it, in nature, you know, nature is like the ultimate barometer of creativity. So my life in fishing started at a very young age. I grew up on a lake in Michigan, Gall Lake, and uh, there we had world-class bass fishing. And then we started vacationing in the Keys when I was uh, very little, and I got hooked on the whole saltwater scene then. The first real big fish that I ever caught were tarpon under the Seven Mile Bridge, and that was just an eye-opener for a kid from Michigan. So I was captivated by the ocean. Got certified to dive at 12, so started, you know, from a young age, I was always snorkeling, free diving, tank diving. The underwater world and fish just took me in from the time I was really little. You know, my passions are, it's one of those things that's funny. I try to make money to obviously pay for my family to survive, but more than that are my passions. I've got a lot of them. I uh, obviously love to paint and I love art. I love to play golf. That was my previous life. So I've got a lot of passions and it seems as though that's uh, what really gets my blood pumping nowadays. So See, even at 43 years old, that's, uh, that's what I want to do. So got a lot of them. Passion and how you get yourself better and elevate your skills is, it's all about hard work and it's about putting the time in. If it's fishing, you gotta, the more time you spend on the water to figure out where the fish are and what they're eating and tides and with art, it's just more time in front of the canvas. Like anything else in life, the more you work at something, the better you get and all the opportunity comes with the harder you work. The whole encompassing of nature and being out there and you know, the fish will teach you so much and, and it's just like your one peaceful moment. And it doesn't matter the fish for me, if it's a little bass or a blue marlin, they're all just as exhilarating. I love that part of it. I'm inspired by people. I'm inspired by the city. I'm inspired by nature, the country, um, water, the mountains, you know. I, it doesn't matter where I am. I always seem to find something that inspires me. It pretty much the entire world around me inspires me every day. Nature, obviously, it inspires my art, but it changes a lot, you know. There's, you have different flows of, sometimes I'm into painting things above water, sometimes it's below, with blue water, green water. You know, the palettes change. Nature really is what inspires, obviously it inspires fish, but it inspires so many more things, even over into my designs that I do for Hook. We have decided to pre really preserve, in our eyes, to preserve our fishery for future generations, which I have two little kids, so of course they're already hooked and they love to fish. And the big thing for us is we wanna, it's about education of these kids. Um, so our goal is to do something in regards to restorations of oyster bars and grass flats and offshore reefs to try to help preserve structure for, as their habitat so we can take these kids and teach them and show them and make sure that they carry on the same passion that I have for it. And So education for us is really what it's about for conserving the, the habitat for the future. <laughs>